Hello, I'm Andrew Gash for Audioholics. AV receivers are getting more and more powerful, and with that comes more and more expansive feature sets. Now, for some, the critical price performance breaking point is around five to $600, and once you hit that point, you start getting advanced features like video upconversion to HDMI and the ability of the receiver to send audio out to a second zone. So the question is, what is Denon offering in its new receiver, the AVR3312CI, uh, that is going above and beyond that, right? I mean, the price point is twice that breaking point. I mean, seriously, what are you going to get for $1,100? Well, actually, a lot. In fact, more than we can cover in this video review, because it would be a long review, it'd be kind of boring, and I'm not missing dinner for it. But let's go ahead and start with power. Now, with most 7.1 and 7.2 receivers at about $600, you're gonna get uh, 90 watts of power output per channel. But with the 3312CI, you're actually getting 125 watts, and that's rated 20 to 20 at just 0.05% THD. And that's equal across all channels, which is very difficult to find. Now, video processing and additional connectors, they don't weigh in all that much, and yet this model is actually 4.5 pounds heavier than the lower one, the 1912 model. Additionally, it comes with a second HDMI output, meaning you can uh, be playing a movie on a projector in one room and a flat screen TV in the other room, right? And you can be doing that at the same time. Very cool. Some other advanced features are uh, digital to analog conversion for analog output and also uh, preamp outputs for multiple zones. In fact, speaking of zones, it actually has three of them, meaning you can run three different audio sources to three different places at the same time. And zone two has a composite video output as well. Now, taking a look at the back, there are 11 speaker connections, meaning that no matter how you want to wire and set up your main room and also your second and third zones, you're probably not going to ever have to switch around your speaker cables in order to get things exactly as you want them. The GUI really lets you see what you're setting up, meaning it's easy to configure multiple speakers and multiple zones. Now, the 3312CI, as the model name suggests, is part of Denon's custom install series, which uh, basically means that it has installer-friendly features like RS-232 control, and also the ability to connect the internet for updates and even remote configuration. This model is also part of Denon's in-command series, which basically means it allows you to bring in audio from a lot of different devices, for instance, Apple's iPod, a USB drive, or even any DLNA device. Uh, furthermore, it also has the ability to use the advanced Odyssey Pro uh, installer package, meaning that it will measure up to 32 different positions for a custom EQ solution, as well as DSX, which allows it to use height channels for up to 11 speakers. That's in case you live in a concert hall, or you're insane. <laughs> Anyway, the 3312CI supports Pandora, Flickr, Rhapsody, and Napster, as well as internet radio. Now, speaking about the remote, it's pretty cool. I mean, we like it. It gives you direct access over each source, and it does that without giving you any funky screens or confusing switches. All you've got to do is select the zone you want to control, main two or three, and then select a source. It actually also gives you easy access to menu controls and even includes uh, dedicated buttons for your internet radio, and that is a huge upgrade over previous remotes. Now, what they have done is they've done away with the zone two remote, although we're not really sure that anybody's really going to miss that. The quick select buttons are still there and they're numbered and they also have icons on them now which is pretty cool and the four they include on this one are DVD, satellite and cable, gaming and iPod and as those are the four biggies we think they nailed it. We listened to this receiver with a ton of source content. Movies sounded full and expansive. In fact, the sound quality on this unit was well above par. Now, Denon does make some higher priced models and they're gonna take that extra money and pour it into the amplifier section. But for the value, it's gonna be hard to beat the AVR3312CI. As far as music is concerned, it sounded live, particularly in the mid ranges, which were detailed. Male and female vocals were uh, realistic and the details and the breaths and sibilants really poked through the mix perfectly. The highs uh, were very airy with cymbal decays that uh, didn't compress or sound shrilly. Altogether, this is a solid amplifier with a laundry list of features that's going to work perfectly for all but the most demanding of listeners.